Hello, welcome to this week's How's the Market, Pensacola. Well, it is the last week of summer, unofficially. we got Labor Day weekend coming up this weekend. Uh, I don't know if we're going to have things packed. 2020 has just been a weird year, hasn't it? Um, but, hey, here we are. I am keeping these episodes short, so let's just get straight to the numbers in our area. Let's go. All right, if you've never seen the show before, I always start off with this slide. It says if we have between six and seven months worth of inventory, we have a neutral market. Anything greater than seven months is considered a buyer's market. Anything less than six months is considered a seller's market. What the slide doesn't say is anything greater than nine months is considered a hyper buyer's market. Anything less than three months is considered a hyper seller's market. We're going to start off this week in Escambia County. And on the left, if you haven't seen the show before, on the left is your purchase price amounts. On the right is the month's inventory. That's why that slide that we start off with always makes sense. So everything under $450,000 in Escambia County is a hyper seller's market. You look at this, the one to 150.7. 150 to 200.6. These are uh, very low inventories. That first time home buyer inventory is really low right now and that kind of concerns me some. 450 to 500,000 comes out of hyper sellers according to our category and goes to just sellers, but then 500 to 550 drops back down to a hyper sellers. The 550 to 600 is a buyer's market. So somebody says every price point in all our counties is all sellers markets, they are wrong. This particular price point, the 550 to 600, is a hyper buyer's market. Excuse me, not a hyper buyer's market, a buyer's market. Okay, so that changes things. You go to list something at 575, you got competition you got to work with, and that changes items. So you just have to pay attention to that. Then back down 600 to 700 is a seller's market, and the luxury in Escambia County currently is a neutral market. So not a buyer's or a seller's. Over in Santa Rosa County, I've been complaining about this all year. Actually, I started complaining about this last year. Um, zero to 50000 there's nothing. Everything under $650,000 is a hyper seller's market. Look at this. The 100000 to 150000 is 0.3 months. 0.3. There's seven houses. Seven houses total active. 150 to 200 there's 19 houses total. So as people trying to get out that first-time home buyer. There's just not nothing in Santa Rosa County. 650 and plus, the luxury over in Santa Rosa County, uh, just right under a neutral market, but it is classified this week as a seller's market. So when you look at these things, one of the ways that you use this is sellers can understand if they can push price a little. Buyers need to understand how we're negotiating. That's what this main thing is about. When I go to talk to someone, I go over all these numbers when I talk to someone about listing their property not just the basic ones that I go over on the show. I go over all these numbers, plus I take a look at what's really dived down into their neighborhood when we start talking about selling. I do the same thing when I work for a buyer. I work for a buyer, I say, look, we can't come in when you're at $200,000, right? And you wanna offer them 175 and it's been on the market 48 hours. You're not going to get it. You're just not. I had a client that sold the house, it just closed, recently so I can actually disclose what the purchase price was because it's public information now. But they were asking $265,000 for it. She walked in, she said, I'll give it to them. And I said, you won't get it. You won't win. It's gonna have to go over. And it is. We wound up on 265,000, we wound up bidding $292,000. And I asked the agent after it was all said and done what the other offers were, because there were multiple offers, 292,000. We beat the other buyer by $1,000, which means somebody else offered 291 on a $265,000 house. But you've got buyers right now saying, hey, on that $200,000, I'll give them $175,000. No, you can jump in the DeLorean and go back to 2012, and that may work. 
But that's one of the reasons I decided to start doing this show is so you can see the ups and downs, the ebbs and flows of markets in each price point. That way you can make better decisions for you and yours. I hope that helps. Try and enjoy this last day of summer. Stay in the air condition, that's for sure. Thanks for watching. Have a great week. I'm a man on a mission. My mission is to help people break through all the noise out there. And Don't need no permission. I want to help you get to actual truth. Don't you just want the truth?